Hello there. Well, what I've got here is a carbide bike lamp. Uh, judging by the size of it, it's usually used on a motorbike rather than a push bike. Uh, and it's worth just looking at this closely for a, a while before we actually fire it up. Uh, I'd like to make a video of firing one up, really, because you don't really see that much on YouTube of firing carbide lamps up. Uh, if we look at this, this particular model is the Lucas Cora which uh, really in its day was the top range lamp to buy uh, and you can tell just by purely by the quality of it the workmanship alone is absolutely fantastic uh, as you can see it comes to pieces for easy cleaning uh, there's the lens at the front bullseye lens uh, and the workmanship it goes into on making one of these things as you can see is I mean these days it would cost you thousands of pounds to buy something similar but we're going to have a look at actually firing the thing up. Now like obviously modern bikes you switch a light on you get an LED lamp straight away. This takes a little bit more work to it uh, and let's first of all let's look at it uh, the various parts of it. At the bottom here we've got a chamber which is going to hold the calcium carbide uh, and the top half of it here we've got a chamber holding water on the top of that is a control valve, we'll just turn that around so you can see that turn in there and that's going to control the amount of water dropping onto the uh, calcium carbide. Dropping water onto calcium carbide will produce acetylene gas and the acetylene gas runs along this tube down here up into the, let's just break that across there, up into the burner here, we've got a little ceramic burner on it uh, and produces two flames which then produces a brilliant white light. So. How do we get it going? Let's have a look. First thing is, is to unscrew the bottom of it. Put that down and inside here we've got a little cup which sits inside a bigger cup. We've got some rocks of calcium carbide. We'll just look, take a look at some of those. As you can see, just small rocks of calcium carbide. Those can be dropped in container in the bottom, we'll just pull, let's put a few in there, we don't want too much in it. And we can drop this spring-loaded plate on top. Now that spring-loaded plate's purely there to keep the calcium carbide in place, stop it bouncing around once you're on your bike, because obviously this thing's going to be jumping up and down and going down the road. Now in the top chamber, we'll just put that to one side for a minute, in the top chamber we've got a lovely little stopper there, and if we take that stopper out you can see that there's a hole in there. And just so happens that I've got some water here that we can top that up. We'll just make sure that that valve is shut down, which it is. And we'll top it up with water, carefully. And just get, we don't want to put too much in, because I'm not going to be running this for, for too long. It's purely as a demonstration. So we'll pop that down there, put the stopper back in, and then screw up the bottom half of the carbide container into the lamp. Now we're all ready to go. Uh, what we've got to do now is to open the valve up on the top here and let the water drip onto the calcium carbide and produce that acetylene gas. So we just open up the front end there. I'll just allow that, open that valve a little bit to allow some water in. Quite often what they used to do is just give it a shake just to get things moving. Because obviously we've got to get the reaction of the water on the calcium carbide to produce the acetylene gas. And then once we've got a good, or we hope we've got a good reaction of water and calcium carbide, we should nearly. Oh, we see a little tiny flame at the bottom there. We'll just let that build that gas up a bit longer. And there it is. It's coming on now. You can just about faintly see that. Eventually, here we go. Give it a shake. And the flame's coming up. There it is. Like everything else, it does take time for these things. There we go, that's the one. What I'm going to do is to take the light out here. And we can show you a look at that. Fantastic, isn't it? Give it a little shake like that. And the more water that's dripped on the calcium carbide, the brighter the light we get. These have little lenses on the side, little green lens on the side here. That was for uh, 
well years ago it would be like port and starboard they used to be red and green and then they turned it just to green lenses because they felt like having a red lens and people saw the red lens they thought it was the back light of another bike and were causing all sorts of crashes so after about 1920 they scrapped the idea of uh, red and green lenses on the side and they went with just a uh, just green lens and eventually they scrapped the whole thing at all, all the lenses at all on them and there we have calcium carbide lamp very bright right we'll just put the light back on again so we can see what's happening there we go there we have calcium carbide lamp off we go down the road thanks very much for watching